My name is Hyung Cho. I'm a retina specialist at Georgia Retina. I'm, I've been in practice for six years now. So Ms. Chu's medical history, she was diagnosed with diabetes in 2006. In 2011, she was diagnosed with diabetic macular edema and um, became a patient of her practice. So when I took over her care, she's already had 12 Avastin injections and six Lucentis injections. The major problem was that her edema only, always came back and the injections only lasted between three to four months. So Ms. Chu asked me if there were any other options that would require less injections. And at this point, she's already had some steroids uh, and she did well with Ozodex, so the natural next step was to try the Illuvian or Fluocinolone implant. So I prescribed Illuvian for Ms. Chu because, frankly, she's just had too many injections. She's had over 30 injections at this point, and we needed a change. Illuvian is the only drug out there that does continuous microdosing for up to three years. And there are other anti-VEGF injections and um, Ozodex. They're all pulsatile. They run out and um, you always need repeat injections. So I brought Illuvian up to her and she was game. Prior to Illuvian, she always had her edema come back. After Illuvian, she did not have any recurrent edema and it's been three years since her last Illuvian injection and her vision is doing great, her pressure is good, and her edema is gone. So as I was treating Ms. Chu's right eye, I noticed that her left eye started developing edema too. So instead of giving her 30 injections in her left eye, we decided to give her one anti-VEGF injection, followed by Illuvian one month later, and I followed her almost a year out since that Illuvian injection and she has not needed another injection since. After I give Illuvian, I see patients usually between four to six weeks, mainly to check their pressure and to evaluate their response. After that, I see patients every three months for up to one year. And if they're doing well at that point, I see patients every six months. And it's very important to follow these patients after Illuvian to monitor their pressure, vision, and IOP. So the three-year anniversary for Ms. Chu's Illuvian in her right eye is coming up. Um, she has not had any recurrent edema up to this point, but if she does develop some edema, we both have no hesitation to give her another Illuvian injection. Since Illuvian, Ms. Chu has not needed another injection, and she's ecstatic. She has less doctor visits. Um, as you know, she's 73, but very active. She loves to knit, she loves to bake, she loves to travel especially to see your grandkids. So less doctor office visits mean more time to do what she enjoys. So I've treated over 30 patients with Illuvian now, and in general, they've done very well. One advice I could give to retina specialists is to not wait so long to treat patients. You don't have to give them 20 anti-VEGF injections prior to making the switch. I find that patients do better when you treat them sooner and when their edema is not as severe. I would recommend Illuvian to my peers because ultimately everyone wants less injections, especially our diabetic patients because it's a multifactorial disease and they have a lot of doctor visits that they have to go to. They have to see their internist, their cardiologist, their endocrinologist, their ophthalmologist, and it all adds up. Although Illuvian is a steroid, um, it, its continuous microdosing is at a low dose, so the risk I found of IOP spikes is much lower than with other steroids. Indication. Illuvian. Fluocinolone acetonide intravitreal implant, 0.19 milligrams, is indicated for the treatment of diabetic macular edema, DME, in patients who have been previously treated with a course of corticosteroids and did not have a clinically significant rise in intraocular pressure. Contraindications. Illuvian is contraindicated in patients with active or suspected ocular or periocular infections, including most viral diseases of the cornea and conjunctiva, including active epithelial herpes simplex keratitis, dendritic keratitis, vaccinia, varicella, mycobacterial infections, and fungal diseases. 
Alluvian is contraindicated in patients with glaucoma who have cup to disc ratios of greater than 0.8. Alluvian is contraindicated in patients with known hypersensitivity to any components of this product. Warnings and precautions. Intravitreal injections, including those with alluvian, have been associated with endophthalmitis, eye inflammation, increased intraocular pressure, and retinal detachments. Patients should be monitored following the intravitreal injection. Use of corticosteroids, including alluvian, may produce posterior subcapsular cataracts, increased intraocular pressure, and glaucoma. Use of corticosteroids may enhance the establishment of secondary ocular infections due to bacteria, fungi, or viruses. Corticosteroids are not recommended to be used in patients with a history of ocular herpes simplex because of the potential for reactivation of the viral infection. Patients in whom the posterior capsule of the lens is absent or has a tear are at risk of implant migration into the anterior chamber. Adverse reactions. In controlled studies, the most common adverse reactions reported were cataract development, Illuvian 82%, sham 50%, and intraocular pressure elevation of greater than or equal to 10 millimeters of mercury. Illuvian 34%, sham 10%.